All right, so talking about food security, uh, bakers are decrying uh, flour scarcity, and they're saying very soon you may not get a loaf of bread on your breakfast table. That sounds scary. We have the president of Premium Bread Makers Association of Nigeria, Engineer Noah Emanuel, joins us virtually. He was actually supposed to be here, but I think he got caught up uh, with traffic. Uh, Dr. Noah, good afternoon, and thank you for your time. Yeah, good afternoon and thank you for having me. I mean, I, uh, I was on my way. Uh, it's been crazy. The traffic has been, I've been on it in the past two hours and uh, it's not abating. And thanks for technology that we're able to come on stream and do this. Exactly. So tell us what's going on with flour. I mean, we, ha we have too many troubles. We don't need another one, honestly. Uh, in fact, we don't need another one because we are at the boiling point in the country now. You know, in the past uh, two weeks or thereabouts, uh, there's been scarcity of flour. There's no flour for us to work. Most of uh, the bakeries, my members and sister association bakeries, are all sh mostly shut down. Um, there's this cr there's a mass scramble for 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 flour by by bakers, and that is not good for the health of our business. What it does is it skies rocket the price of flour, and not only flour, even even sugar. It's um, very expensive, and other materials are spiking at the same time. So um, bread is a staple. Bread is not supposed to be out of the table of Nigerians. If Tomorrow, there is no bread on the table of Nigerians. Um, it will exacerbate the current um, insecurity that we are facing in the country, and we don't want that to happen. You so know, it's a very tough scarcity? time. For us. What's causing the scarcity? Well, uh, we've, we've uh, as the president of the association, I've tried to reach out to the millers to find out what is happening. I, I mean, I think everybody's just been very cautious. There was this um, pronouncement by the government uh, about um, removal of. Um, as, um, with import duties for the next six months, I think for 180 or 150 days. So uh, this led to the millers being very cautious. You know, there's this uh, the, in, in supply chain. You have to plan. You have to plan your. You have to plan everything very very well. You have to do your features very well. Do your forecast very well. I guess because of that, they have not been able to get in wheat as at when due because they are so afraid that if they do that and after paying money for the clearing and this thing comes in as uh, the, there, will, there will be there will be confusion so it's about that government policy on um removal of suspension of wheat um import on wheat and essential foods into nigeria that is basically the problem because the truth is i've asked and we've asked them the the devil is in the details where are the policy documents? Have they gone out to those that are expected to bring in wheat into Nigeria? They don't have the details, so it's making them, it's making planning very, very difficult for them. And as much as they are uh, exhausting the 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 um, the wheat in their silos, they are not able to bring in wheat into Nigeria. So it's distorted their entire value chain, upended their business, and it has now fall back to us, causing a lot of scarcity, leading to flour being very, very scarce. As I speak with you, in the past one week or thereabouts, I have not been able to produce in my, in my bakery and some other bakeries. You just can't scamper for, you scamper for, for flour anywhere, clutching on a straw, and that is not good for our business. It's not good for our planning, and it is driving, it's going to drive further the price and the cost of bread. So I want, I want to understand, is it the uncertainty of this uh, uh, policy that is causing this or is it that the pronouncement has been made, but the implementation hasn't started? What really is the challenge here? I wouldn't know. Like I said, I don't import. I am an end user. But I try to, we try to ask questions from the millers. You understand? You know, there are about just three or four of them in Nigeria. What is the causality factor of this flower that is not available in Nigeria today? You know, nobody gives you anything coherent. So we put one and one together to say yes. Some of them will tell you, okay, maybe it's the policy on the, the new government policy on uh, the 150 days uh, with, uh, I mean, wheat and rice and other staple kini that is the problem. So they don't even know how to plan. They don't know how to plan because the government have not come out to the details. The details from the maybe the civil servant or from the ministry that is involved or whoever that is involved, they should get the details to them so that they know what is involved in this, that we help them to do their focus on how they can get with into Nigeria. Because there is no clear 
policy document on it any longer and they are so afraid that if they go out to import this thing and come into nigeria they don't know what it look like for their business so that is what the problem is now that policy document from the government should come out so that the people the middle class can know how and how it affects them so, so that we can oh. begin to get flow to produce because right. in the next one week bread might dry up entirely in, the, in, in nigeria we pray it doesn't get to that so, so no, they, you know what children do with bread and tea every morning we don't want to get there but we'll try and get you into the studio hopefully sometime next week unfortunately you were not able to make it right here would have had a more robust conversation we hope that one of the days next week we'll be able to get you into the studio by then we should be able to get more details on um you know the the problem and hopefully perhaps it would have softened by then but thank you so much for your efforts sorry for the you know discomforts on the road but we hope to have a better conversation next week thank you for having me i appreciate you thank you very much i appreciate it.